A brazen theft at a small Cross Lake business was caught on camera. Since being posted on social media, the incident has been viewed more than 800,000 times. That's our top story this half hour. Thanks for joining us. I'm B.C. O'Neilly. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. The boutique owner used TikTok to catch the thief, but she ended up getting more than she hoped for. Fox 9's Karen Scullin has the story. To the nice lady who decided to steal from my small business in the town square of Crosslick, Minnesota today. It seems the woman, some have dubbed bad grandma, never had a chance. You feel proud of yourself for making the world a better place. When her alleged crime of stealing and then stuffing a shirt in her purse was caught on surveillance video and posted to TikTok, the jig was up. I just put it out there. I was like, you know, we're going to catch you and... Then it became bigger than I ever expected. With 800,000 views, about 2,000 shares, and 4,500 comments, it's no wonder a TikTok viewer made the ID. The suspect was cited by Cross Lake Police for theft, and she was given trespass warnings for three different businesses. But there are three other businesses outside Cross Lake that were also allegedly hit. But out of all the TikTok talk, I don't even have time to count the amount of people that have forwarded me the video. Something unexpected happened. It really kind of made almost a movement up here of what one small video, one small thing on social media can do to bring a community together and say, you know, we're really united and we're not going to have this. The small businesses and the people in the small Cross Lake community got a little closer and a little stronger thanks to social media. You got to look at the positive side of it and see it can do something really good to bring together a community and really kind of just make a standpoint like we are watching. You will be caught, you know, stop taking people's stuff. Whipper says she's not an avid TikTok user, but between merch sales and new friends, that soon could change. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.